the solar industry here in Minnesota, and we're, we're really we're really booming, you know, with our own uh, manufacturing for all the different kinds of technologies for solar, um, and you know, really trying to get that education information out. Uh, in the last four years, we've been able to decrease our electric use and gas use by about half. So we're currently saving a good solid hundred dollars a month throughout the year, and that's enough money to buy solar. And solar then goes ahead and saves us some more money. So, uh, so I would encourage you to get on this process because uh, it's great to be able to see that energy bill in the in the uh, um, in the mail when you get it and realize that you're excited to open it up. You're not anxious. Well, you might be anxious, but in a good way. Um, you're not afraid to open it up. And once you start banking some of those savings, it gets very, very reinforcing. Well, my system is, again, a 6.9. That's figured based on uh, my panels. I have 30 panels that are each 230 watts. So you do the math and you get the 6.9 kW. Um, some installation and cost information. Uh, you know, not everybody has the rough size to do this. I, I put it on my pole shed. So I took about a 10 by 60 foot area on the, on the 45 degree slope of my shed. Um, that roof faces due south, so I have good, good sun. Um, took them about four days to install it. Uh, I did have a little extra in electrical cost to get it from my panels to my house because I had to trench it underground about 150 feet to get from the pole shed to the house. If you're right on the roof, you go directly down. <coughs> My, uh, again, 30 panels. My uh, years one and two savings, uh, the first year was $760, and that was based on an average of 10 cents a kilowatt hour that I see on my electric bill. Um, that was in the 2010 to 2011. In um, 11 to 12, I expect to uh, save about 1,050 bucks. That's based on 11 cents a kilowatt, so you know, there's that rate hike that we, that we have to deal with. So. Um, I figured that my system will do an eight-year payback, and that's based on 14 cents a, a kilowatt hour uh, as the average electrical rate over the next eight years. So it's not too much of a bump from where we're at. And we own Woodbury Village and Tamarack Village here in Woodbury. Uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, we've kind of stumbled into some uh, opportunity to do some solar through an engineer that we do other work uh, with and we brought that opportunity to Robert Muir himself and his wife Robin who uh, like to do things that are green and you know they, there's different things they've done over the years for instance they have a school in South Africa that they fund and other things so they're green and they wanted to do this just to to, to be green. They didn't they weren't looking for any return on their dollar spent or anything like that. So we looked at it a little differently than what you know maybe some other folks looked at. The cost of the four systems was about nine hundred thousand dollars. Robert anticipated paying about two hundred thousand dollars and we actually paid about three thousand dollars. So it was a nine hundred thousand dollar system that we got for three three thousand dollars. The rebates that we received were the Minnesota Solar Rewards rebate, the Minnesota rebate, and then at that time there were federal rebates or grants. 